We wish you a happy birthday, Holy Dalai Lama. And we hope it was wonderful, your 85th birthday. Yeah. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today, not only are we wishing His Holiness the Dalai Lama a happy and healthy and hopefully he lives a hundred years birthday today, um, but we are going to watch this beautiful video of people yeah. from all around the world wishing him a wonderful happy birthday. And um, if you guys haven't seen our other video a while back, we got some mail from China. But our second mail from China actually kind of um, gave us some more inspiration to write to the senators, write to the president in in support of this new Tibet, Tibet bill. bill yeah. Yes. So the our representative here in Pennsylvania, he put through the bill to recognize Tibet as a free country yeah. and we believe from the bottom of our heart that Tibetans need to be free they need their country separate from China and the Dalai the Holy Dalai Lama needs to go back um, you know he's been in exile for 61 years now in India and I know India has welcomed him and all Tibetans with open arms I've seen yeah. lovely lovely comments down below um, about you know brotherhood and how amazing you guys are and you know Indians always welcome guests with open arms so it doesn't surprise me that you've welcomed him but he is like the epitome of peace and um, he's just I've only seen a few clips of him since we've been doing this channel yeah. um, you know I had heard of him but I never really got to know about him until we started doing this and I'm glad we did because now we are writing to our representatives now we are supporting what Tibetans needed support a long time ago we've had a lot of presidents here you know say how much they love him how great he is he's gotten the Nobel Peace Prize but nobody has stood up against China no. and and helped Tibet be free. And this is the time. This is the time when the world is angry about the coronavirus. This is the time when they're pushing people's borders and pissing everybody off. This is the time we need to come together. So we hope, we feel like President Trump could be the one to make this bill go through. And not that that's gonna be enough, but we hope if the US does it, uh, other big countries will do it and, yeah. and it will be a trickle effect. And then hopefully that will cause China to back off and Tibet to be free. And His Holiness can go back and set foot on Tibetan soil as not a terrorist, but as His Holiness, which yeah. is what he needs to do. Um, so like we said, we are gonna pray that he lives to be at least 100 years old, but we hope it doesn't take that long for the world to wake up no. and support Tibet as a free country. So we're gonna start this beautiful, lovely tribute to his holiness. Yeah. <laughs> Mondangi Wishing you a happy, 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 happy birthday. send our very best wishes on your 85th birthday. I admire you, I care for you, and I love you. 
May His Holiness's birthday bring happiness, joy, and a year filled with peace and security for all Tibetans yes. and for the world. Happy birthday, Your Holiness. We wanted to see you active for at least 100 years. Make your century. We wish you stay healthy and all the best for the future. Thank you and happy birthday. His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the saint of the century. And happy birthday and best wishes to His Holiness. I wish you a great birthday. Greetings from Oslo, Norway and blessings on your 85th birthday. May his teachings, his influence, his practice continue to spread and grow in the years that are to come. And may he continue for long ahead to be a voice of reason, of moderation, of peace and of good sense. I am deeply honored to extend my respectful greetings for long life and good health to his Holiness the Dalai Lama on his uh, 85th birthday. Your Holiness, thank you so much for inspiring me and millions of people in this planet. Esperamos y deseamos que sean muchos más cumpleaños. 85 sari no o tanjobi, omedeto gozaimasu. My warmest greetings on the occasion of his 85th birthday. Just send you this message of good wishes and prayers that your cause may be realized in your lifetime. Happy birthday to His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Sua Santidade Dalai Lama, não apenas quero fazer chegar you are an awesome gift for all people from all nations, from all religions. And I really hope you can return to a free Tibet very, very soon. If you truly love me, then keep in your mind my three commitments. And whatever way, you see, uh, wherever you live, try to create compassionate atmosphere. So if you practice, if you pay more attention, that's so best gift for my birthday. It's amazing how this many people love and support the Dalai Lama and want yeah. this bill to go through. And we do too. We want this yeah. Tibet bill to go through so the Dalai Lama in all his years can actually go to a free Tibet. Yes. Yeah. This, they, so many people from all over, like, yeah. you know, they said how much they love him, how much they respect him, how much they want him to live to be at least a hundred um, to keep his teachings going. Yeah. And that's how much he's touched the world in such a good, positive way. And like you said, we hope and pray this Tibet bill goes through here in the U.S. because I, I hope that becomes a trickle effect. Like other yeah. countries will recognize it and then say, we need to do the same thing so that hopefully it will become a free Tibet for him to go back. You know, this is the time to do it. This is the time China has been doing secrecy. They've been, you know, the president's talked about him, them lying on trade, on patents. We saw what happened at the border. You know, they didn't start yeah. with guns, but they came with sticks and weapons and, and purposely moved the tent to start a fight with India. But I don't think they expected their butts to get kicked after India that. India expected a talk, like an yeah, argument. Yeah, India went to expect a talk, and China was ready to beat them up. Yeah. And they got beat up in the process, but we lost so many soldiers, yeah. you know, we want it to be more political warfare. We want stuff like political free chess. Tibet. We want, you know, ban the apps. This is yeah. what we want. We know India is strong um, 
and we you know we know the US and a lot of Australia and Japan a lot of these other countries are coming up to support India um, you know everybody's been affected by this coronavirus and I think China just thinks like oh you know everybody needs them for their products for their apps yeah. for this for that you know you can, we can live do whatever without we it want. but if Noah can get rid of them anybody can do it it took five seconds before he was like china china like throwing stuff out and and just check when you buy but if there isn't an alternative this is why we would love that modi's opening the doors yeah and we would love better quality products that say made made in in india India. Mm -hmm. so not only can you buy your own but we would like the world to say oh it's made in india it's amazing it's beautiful it's colorful it doesn't break after five seconds you know this is what we want so we feel like President Trump is probably the strongest to put this Tibet bill through. Yeah. They've at the Fourth of July speech, he talked again about China um, not doing the right thing, you know, with this coronavirus, with the trade. There was many, many things he spoke out against on China, and we feel like he is the guy who's going to sign this bill and put it through. We hope yeah. um, to start this this trickle down. We we need enough countries to hit them in the wallet, to hit them politically, and and to put these things through. Tibet needs to be free. Hong Kong needs to be free. You know, Taiwan, there's so many places that China has just like taken over, taken over, taken over, um, and it's not right. No. And the Uyghur Muslims, you know, they need to be free. It's one thing after the other that China's been doing and they hold the UN seat and this is not how a you a permanent the UN seat like yeah this is not how you show that you're a leader when you should be a leader for your people yeah show your people how to lead but show the world you're supposed to be kind of like the the head honcho like for the Asian countries the speaker for, at the UN for Asia and and you're not if you're five or six you know viruses have come out of your country and patent violations trump has talked about and treaties and the way you treat the soldiers on the border like one thing after the other after the other this is not how you show the world that you are a good leader you know no. siding with pakistan when they're blaming india and india had nothing to do with the terrorist attack you know, giving them weapons, giving them nuclear information, stuff that, that Pakistan shouldn't have. You know, this is not how you lead the world. Mm. You know, encroaching, encroaching on your neighbors. Well, India is prepped and ready to go for war right now. So they have and, a bunch of other people supporting them. And there's a lot of big countries that are supporting them. And we don't want it to come to war. No. We want them to learn their lesson through politics, through your wallet. This is how we want them to learn their lesson. You know, Tibet is a peaceful, beautiful country. Buddhism came from India, but the, the Holy Dalai Lama has, I mean, it's just, he's so amazing. And he needs to be able to go back to his home country before too much longer. And we hope he gets to. Yeah. Um, You know, they, Tibet speaks similar language that we hear the U.S. speak, that India speaks. And like we said, all these wonderful people have said lovely, lovely, happy birthdays, how much they love and respect him, how great his message has been. These people need to stand behind this Tibet bill if they're here in the U.S., and they need to stand behind and talk to their own congressmen, their own governors, whoever's in charge, to say they need to put a similar bill in place. Follow steps. Yeah. And free Tibet for His Holiness to return. Right? So I hope you guys love this. This was amazing. Yeah. Um he's so cute at the end like spread you know compassion he talks of compassion and peace and love um and even on his own birthday he wants everybody to do good in the world so we hope we listen to him more often yeah right and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful growing family and we'll see you tomorrow bye Bye.